Okay, listen. Listen, why chew up this gum? Okay, so... I don't know what type of video this piece of hair is going to nurse. I don't know what type of video this is going to be. I'm just recording. Um, so you guys saw what I had for... Hello, Brennan. Hello. What? <laughs> I'm recording. So, um, like I was saying, um, you saw what I ate for breakfast. So, I'm about to have me like a little snack, but I'm gonna use something that I just saw on Instagram, and I was like, huh? I didn't know I could use the waffle maker like that. So let's see. I'm gonna show y'all what, what I saw it on. Now, this might not be the first person that's did it, done it. But I saw it on um, Goody Beats IG story. And what he did was he just put some pepperoni and some cheese together and made like a little snack. So I'm gonna try this. How many is a serving? I think 15. 15 slices is a serving. I don't think I'm gonna have 15, but we'll see. So he just put them around. soak up some of the grease but it looks like it's gonna be good it's oily look at all that grease eee. Eee. let me turn it off it tastes, it's really good you guys it looks like this it's very flat but oh well good like i can take this thing to work with me and make it Mm -hmm. like happy monday it is monday the 24th of august and i'm here i just came back from the grocery store and i was sitting down on the couch <laughs> before i put the groceries away and i was like i should have took them with me to the grocery store neither here nor there at this point but i can still show you what i got from the grocery store it is 157 I have not broken my fast. I was supposed to break my fast at 12 and I'm still not hungry, but I haven't even ingested water. I haven't ingested anything. So I am getting a little hungry. So I'm gonna show you what I got from the grocery store and then we're gonna make me some through the three separate places. I went to, um, where'd I go? I went to Walmart. I went to Aldi and then I went to Smart and Final. And I barely, I usually don't go to Smart and Final, but I was like, let's go over here real quick and see if they have what I need. So let me show you. I'm looking for two things and I came out with this. So I still didn't do that bad. Um, I went in there for these mushroom caps. So I got those because they didn't have them at the Aldi store. And then I went in there for this because I was going to go to Sprouts and get it because I know Sprouts sells it, but... Um, it saved me a trip because I didn't have to go all the way to Sprouts. So, usually I get just regular sugar-free creamer. I get it from Aldi. I get it from um, Walmart, like the International Delight or whatever it's called. And even though it does say sugar-free, it usually will have like one gram of carb. And it'll have, I don't know if it'll have sugar or not, but in the ingredients, it will have corn syrup. And it has milk. So, this one doesn't have any milk or corn syrup. It's zero carbs zero sugar, one gram of fat. So, and this is the hazelnut brand of Nut Pods. And it was reasonably priced. So I'm gonna try this because I want to start drinking hot coffee again. So that's why I got it. So I got that and then I got mashed cauliflower. 
It was the last one. I was so excited because this one is so good. And I got the family size. And I got two of these. I got the uh, sparkling ice and peach nectarine. That one's my favorite. I should have just got two of those. And then I got um, orange mango. That one's good too, though. So I got those and they were on sale for 79 cents. That's why I got them because I usually just get them from um, Costco. And then I got a rotisserie and I was going to get them at Costco the last time I went and they were taking too long to bring them out. So I didn't get it. So I got one at Smart and Final. So that's what I got from Smart and Final. Next up is Walmart. So I got some coconut cream because I want to start putting this in either my smoothies or in my coffee. And it's less than one gram of carb, less than one gram of sugar, six fat. And uh, what are the ingredients? That's the ingredients. So it's pretty straight to the point. So I think Trader Joe's sells these. So if this was like $3 and some change. So if this is good, I'm going to get it from Trader Joe's because I know it's, it's like maybe $1.99 there. So I'm going to get that from Trader Joe's if it's good. So I got two water enhancers and these are pineapple mango. And then I got the sweet tea and these are less than one gram of carb as well. And here's this one. This one's zero. Ooh. And then I got some Rios because I want to make with the portobello mushrooms. I want to make like some pizzas this week. And here are the macro six fat six carbs, one fiber. Now this right here, this is supposed to be like the best one on the market unless you make your own marinara. I don't have time to make that. So I bought this one. So you use it sparingly, you know, what's the serving a half a cup? I'm not gonna use a half a cup on the portobello cap. So I'm okay with that. I got some rice vinegar because I ordered it the last time that I um, did a grocery pickup from Walmart. But they said they couldn't, it, it was out of stock. So when I went in there today, they had plenty. So I'm like, I don't know who's, who's doing the shopping? Who's doing the shopping? So I got this um, because I want to, the other one, like the seasoned one had carbs, but I want to try to make some um, keto, what is it called? California rolls? Yeah. And then I got some almond milk for my smoothies. And usually the almond milk that I get is just the regular Aldi brand and it's the unsweetened vanilla, but it usually, that one has, I'm thinking that all the other ones have cara, carrageenan in it. And so Califia Farms does not. So I'm being more cognizant of the things that I am putting in my body. So I have one carb, one fiber, so it means zero carbs. And it has almond milk and coconut cream in it. So I'm excited to try that for my smoothies. They have a creamer that's like this too, but I can't find it. I might have to go to Sprouts and see if they have it over there. So that was Walmart. Oh. So then I got this um, notebook because I want to start writing my weeks down, um, like my measurements, my weight and all that. So I just got this book for that. So that's what I got from Walmart, really small. Next we have Aldi, my favorite place. So I picked up four avocado to get me over to them when I can get to Costco because I like to get my avocados from Costco because not only are they big, you get a lot in the bag for $5. So I just got four to hold me over till then. I got a thing of pepperoni for my mushroom pizzas. I got artichoke hearts from my mushroom pizzas, and these have two carbs and one fiber. I like these on pizza, so I'm thinking on a mushroom pizza, it would be good too. So I got more chia seeds because I'm running low because I've been putting these in my um, green smoothies every day. So I got more of those. I got two things of olives. I got some lemon. So I like to put this on my avocado when I'm just eating it by itself. I put this, some salt. And that's it. Got more onions. I like to cook with onion. I got this cheese. I don't know how to say it. Is that Oaxa? Oaxa cheese? Great for melting. So I was just got it. I don't know why. And then I got some mozzarella for my mushroom pizzas. And I got two things of pork rinds. So that's all I got. Seems like I didn't really do that big of a. It's enough for me. My son doesn't eat this stuff. 
But that's what I got from the grocery store, you guys. Okay, that cream is really good, okay? But it's not sweetened. So if you want sweet coffee, you're gonna have to sweeten it with um, some skinny syrup, some trubia, some stevia, something along that line. But that's, I haven't had warm coffee or hot coffee in a while. You know how you, if you drink coffee and you take that first sip of coffee, huh, it makes you feel like amazing, right? And it's 2.30. <laughs> and I'm drinking hot coffee. I don't usually do that. I know people that drink coffee all day long. But I drink one cup in the morning and I'll be done. But it is what it is. I needed that. I'm going to have a quesadilla. And it is two of these low-carb tortillas from La Tortilla Factory. And they are three net carbs. You so I have one on the bottom, one on top. Cheese. I put a whole avocado in there. Um, and that's it. And I'm going to be drinking my water and my coffee so that is what i'm having now i will say that i've been making a conscious effort to do more research on keto um i kind of thought that i knew enough but no don't didn't know didn't know enough didn't know enough at all so <clears throat> for one i'm not getting enough fatty in, so that's why i put that entire avocado i'm trying to at least eat one to two avocados a day this tripod's getting on my nerves um getting my electrolytes in um magnesium potassium things of that nature because just like little things like the sugar in that sugar-free creamer that i was doing like little things like that could be stopping me from uh losing the weight that i want or stalling and just like okay why am i teetering with the same 10 pounds so i've been doing a lot more research this week making a conscious effort because i really want this to work for me so you want something to work for you you're gonna put in the work for it to do so right enjoying my coffee those nut pods truth also also side note oh one more thing let me show you ah, i forgot this one thing let me show you what else i got from smart and final i put it in here because i didn't want it to melt smart and final got everything i didn't have to go to sprouts i was happy so i got the enlightened i've had enlightened um like the little pints before but i never had these bars so i picked up this one this one's in dark chocolate they had the mint as well uh, I wouldn't want that one, so I got this one, and this is one, as you can see, one net carb in that one. So, Smart and Final, I don't usually shop there, but I don't know why, because, first of all, it's the same price, about the same price as some Walmart, you don't got to deal with the Walmarts, the people, call them Walmarts, you don't have to deal with them. Um, well, some hours later. I started doing my workout. Y'all, I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I'm dying. But let me show you. Let me show you the struggle workouts that I'm doing from home. My arm is even hurting holding this. Hold, oh, hold, please. crazy so we're not gonna put all that work out in here because i was looking real crazy and that's a no-go so anyway i'm about to here's my hand sanitizer how to get out my car um i'm about to make me something to eat the lighting in my kitchen is horrible um i'm about to make me some meat and what i'm going to eat for my last meal is my green smoothie and i'm gonna have a full avocado and I may have one of those enlightened bars that I uh, bought. And then I bought some new Magic Bullet. These are 22 ounces. I was telling you guys about them the last time that I wanted to buy them. And I bought them because I was, like last week, I was really struggling with my smoothies because they were over full and I could not. It was a situation. But let me make this. 
that coconut cream and that almond milk coconut cream slash almond milk situation makes this taste so good it is a lot creamier um gives a totally different taste so i'm not gonna have that keto bar i'm just gonna have this and then i'm gonna have my avocado avocado with some lemon and some salt I eat this and I'm gonna be done. And so listen, although that is really good, I don't think I'll put that. I don't know if it's the coconut cream. I'm gonna say it's the coconut cream. It makes it too creamy. Um, I can't describe it. It's really good, but I think I will ex nay it out of this and add it to my coffee. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll switch it up tomorrow and reconvene. I have a mask on my face. Um, this week I went back to my Weight Watchers situation where I would, with Weight Watchers, I would meal prep and I would um, write everything down weekly. So with the keto, I'm I am not meal prepping, but I'm gonna write down meal ideas and um, all my measurements and my weight every week. So let me show you, I bought a new, that's why I bought this book. This is why I bought this book. Cause I usually write it in this book but I've been using this for work and stuff and I just wanted a new new book. So let me show you what I got going on. It's week one and I have gone up six pounds because I've been doing what I, what I thought was keto. But I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. So anyway, this is week one. I'm, I'm gonna take my measurements tomorrow because I did not do it today, but I took my weight today. And these are my meal ideas. So it doesn't mean I'm gonna have them all together. These are just ideas of what I may make that day. So meal one is either a green smoothie, bacon avocado, and then meal, meal two is the portobello pizza, the steak asparagus, can you guys see? I can't see, and <laughs> I have glasses on. Um, meal two is the portobello pizza or the steak asparagus and mashed cauliflower, or mashed cauliflower. So it's one or the other, not both of these. And these are my snack ideas. So I figure if I write it down, because I did a really good with this when I did um, Weight Watchers. This was, made it easier for me. So I figure it will be the same it with, off. mask is off, okay. So what I was saying was, what was I saying? Oh, first things first. Did I tell you guys earlier that I needed to start really looking at my ingredients on the food because that um, sugar-free creamer, that was like a staple for me. And it had corn syrup and milk. So that's a no. So I'm being very cognizant of that. Also, I feel like I'm gonna say, not that. So I'm editing the video and I realized I was just literally kind of talking in circles. So pretty much what I'm saying is, I thought I was doing keto because I was on keto, the keto-ish diet. I watched a video from Dr. Berg and he's like, are you on, are you keto-ish? And yes, I was keto-ish. He has a, a, a board and he ranks it from clean to, I guess, keto 5-2. And like 5-2 was like five days you are keto and two days you eat what you want. Well, that wasn't me. Um, I wasn't even doing lazy keto because I was really tracking things, but I was dirty. Um, and even though I did that week challenge where I tracked total carbs, um, that's not the lifestyle I want to live. Um, but I was really dirty with everything. Everything was really dirty. So I'm really cleaning up my, my um, diet. That's what I was trying to say when I was just in circles. I think I was just tired, but I'm really trying to clean up my diet and um be cleanest as possible i know that it's not going to happen daily but for the most part i want to be as clean as possible also um i was telling my friend yesterday because she was talking to me about keto and i was saying like at the end of the day um all you have to be is consistent and committed to yourself because you're consistent and committed to everyone else but you're not consistent committed to yourself so i'm telling myself that be consistent, be committed to yourself because at the end of the day, I deserve it. You know, I deserve to be committed. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be the weight that I want to be. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make keto work for me. Um, that's why I said I am doing the work. I'm doing the research. I'm not going to let this uh, 
<laughs> like I may I feel like I'm making it harder than what it could be but okay back to the video I have bought a 30-day keto program now I feel like I'm just gonna invest in myself because I do want to learn more about keto so I am going to look at it this like an investment in myself because I want this to work for me so I bought that it's for 30 days um, it's not a program it's like a group and where I can learn more um, zoom calls uh, Facebook support um, and more of the teaching aspect because I want to learn about this so that's why I did did the program or signed up for the program um because I feel like I just need to educate myself more you know the group starts uh next week and if I like it I'm just gonna continue next month until I lose a bulk of my weight where I really feel like okay I know this stuff and then I'm just gonna release it but for now because I really want this to work I'm sticking with keto because I like it um but literally one false move <laughs> This is not the diet that you can make a false move. One false move is over. You start from scratch. Remember that Martin episode when he went to listen to the TV? And he was like, oh, you got to start from scratch. And he was like, where's scratch? And there was a sign up there that says scratch. One false move on keto, you start from scratch, okay? But anyway, I'm about to go sit here and relax and watch a show or two. I need to put my glasses back on because I can't see that far. And I will see you guys later.